arrived at Malaga after an hour delay, which has been a bit of a nightmare, but it's all good, we move. So we're going to one of our little spots in Torremolinos, which is about 20 minutes from Mike's. I think a few of our guys have already arrived, but I like to be quite boundaried on the first day. Um, it takes a lot of energy over the next four days. So yeah, we're going and doing our own thing. Um, I know me, Ollie and Bells are absolutely starving. Um, we've just got the hire car. It's bougie. She's Bella's a agreed. bougie bitch. Bella's agreed to have a Peugeot. I'm Here happy. she is, look. I haven't agreed. Huh? She I said, haven't agreed. <laughs> she said if she, oh, watch him. She said, I am actually really impressed with your driving. I'm amazed. Are you impressed, Ollie? I'm very impressed. Jade, I try and tell you so much. She even remembers the way. I'm I reckon incredible. if I turn this off, should we turn it off? Oh, no, let's, okay, let's not turn it off, but <laughs> I reckon Bell's could... She's been here maybe five times. Three. She now just literally remembers the way, True. so True. I wouldn't have a clue. I'd, I'd be... My seat is very close to the steering wheel. Yeah, it is. Boy, Ollie's got long legs, though, so... Um, yeah. Me and Oles have been discussing trainers the whole whole flight. That flight went really long, did it not? Went really long. Yeah, it just felt really long. Asleep. We're all sat reading our book. Oh, I don't know what that says in English. Lane assist. I was reading Breath, um, The Lost Art of How to Actually Breathe, which is super interesting. These guys don't know it, but um, I've actually bought a load of mouth tape. So when they do one of their recovery sessions, we're actually gonna tape up our mouths and then kind of force the guys into like an ability to kind of like nasal breathe. I'm so really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. It'll be like a recovery session midway through the camp. We have lots on the agenda. Um, this is obviously gonna go out after the camp so I can say it all. So. When they first get there, we do a bit of um, resilient sandbag training. So they literally drop their stuff Don't give off, it all away. have a bit of lunch, um, and then we do some, yeah, some sort of like team bonding, should we say, <laughs> this afternoon, and uh, then give the guys a little bit of an early tomorrow one. Afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon, you got a day Sorry, off. Sorry, tomorrow afternoon. What you um, gotta do today is train. Yeah, we need to we need to train today. I've got a lot of sessions. Pokey like, bowls Ollie's, and training. Pokey bowls and training when and we get there. Up. And get some water from the supermarket. That's a necessity. What supermarket is it? Supermarché. No. <laughs> Absolutely uh, not. Asda. Oh no, I've just remembered. I promised Kimmy by this time next year I would have finished learning Spanish. Well, Kimmy's going to have the shock of her life when you can't ask for a coffee in the morning. <laughs> es importante para mí. Yeah, it's important to me. It's not importante para mí. It's not important to me. <laughs> However, <laughs> es importante to me. I eat some food right now because I'm going to waste away. I've only had a shake this morning and it's 2.30. We've got 30 athletes traveling in from all over the place this time, which is pretty cool. We've got um, a couple coming in from America. They're flying in uh, tomorrow. They're already on their travels. Three, Three coming from America, sorry. We've got Jordan, Jacob, and Jim coming over. Um, JJJ, the triple J. Oh, yeah. Um, what else? Who else we got? We've got Andrea coming over from Italy. We've got like quite a new, like a, an established group of maybe 16, 17 people who have already been before, so they're quite gelled, but I'm very good at kind of leadership in the sense of, um, you know, not not allowing anyone from the start to feel uncomfortable. We do a bit of a practice and a, um, an exercise where the guys go through what they want to get out of the camp, what they're bringing to the camp. So it's going to be real kind of nice tomorrow to, to already kind of get that, yeah, get that bond going between them all with the teamwork workout as well. And the group are insane. Like they're honestly insane. Yeah. They've got banter. They're also really boundaried as well. I don't, you know, I think that comes from good leadership, but you know, they, they really kind of respect kind of my time during the camp as well, um, when they have their kind of free time and social hours. So yeah, it's looking to be good. Um, the weather's 22 right now, but I think it's gonna get quite hot over the weekend. Um, the challenge this time for me is actually gonna be trying to get, cause I'm on a, a full peak program for Worlds right now. So Worlds is in five weeks time. Um, and my intensity and volume is the highest it's ever been. So the challenge for me is going to be, like, I'm probably going to be doing like 35,000 steps a day with these guys. Um, and also then on top of that, getting my training done. But I know Ollie's going to be like my mini coach out here. So we'll get shit done. And I'll probably vlog some of my training, get Ollie's on the camera, see what I'm doing myself while I'm here. Um, vlog the food as well, because that's going to be, oh, um, yeah, that's going to be incredible. Uh, shout out to the traveling kitchen. She's always, well, Kimmy is on point. Um, and then yeah, we'll just, yeah, vlog how the, how the, how the time goes. We've Other than that, Tormelizos for Buddha Bowls. <laughs> just 
about to find our little spot that we love. We've just realized shuts at three o'clock. So we're just taking in the view, just seen two of our girls who I didn't realize were arriving today. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna go down here, try and find some grub. But yeah, you can see, this, we're about 20 minutes out from Mike's, but there's not a lot in regards to like restaurants and stuff around near his. So uh, we don't get Kimmy's food till tomorrow. So we need to find some food. There she is. Did you park okay? We found a, found a Bizarre fish there. restaurant in the hope to find steak. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they have a couple of chicken dishes and a bit of steak, so yep. Lemon sole, grill. I might have the grilled salmon. Ollie's just told me that he has a reaction to fish, so we'll see how that one goes. I could grab the camera in a minute. Yeah, his skin goes funny. I'll show you my dinner in a minute. Mm -mm -mm. So we've actually moved inside because I was cold and um, got the salmon fillet. It's a little bit greasier for my liking, but we move. Need to get the protein in. Otherwise, these must Oh no, please don't! Oh, no. <laughs> he's got a burger. Ben's got loads of chips. If Ollie, if, if we just said if Ollie was a plate of food, this would be Ollie. Ollie's very beige. He doesn't eat anything with colour, so we're doing well to have some green on there. Green. I can break the news in a party, the RD one come with a tug. Clue my English, gosh, you low key. She wanna go home and just fool. But they hate it when they don't know me. You can go suck at your mum. I'd be the best DJ at High Rocks. Bring in the new DJ. I can break the news in a party, the RD one come with a tug. Clue my English, gosh, you low key. Chill with my English, gosh, you low key. Show up for the pop. Yeah, just sorry my hair out before before we face people. Facing people. What's the session? Got eighteen rounds to do. Uh, 60 seconds, moderate hard intensity, 30 second rest between sets, times 18, sitting at about 152, between that and 155, so yeah, it's tough, it's not easy. A few more to go though. 18 rounds of a minute, uh, heart rate was pushing into zone three on that, but the 30 seconds was getting the heart rate it was dropping to about, back into about four, sorry, one, four, two. So that was absolutely hideous. But I've done, done about four and a half K, if you look on the monitor. Done about four and a half K in 1840. That's not too bad going. Oh, I was averaging about 151 to 153 per 500. So I've chuffed a bits with that. I'm trying to, um, trying to get my row and my ski a little bit faster at ease which isn't isn't easy for a short a um so yeah that was just complete isolated row power output 60 second efforts really boring and mundane but needs to be done so 18 rounds was gross right part two so part two belzy's gonna join in with me on this one so it's three rounds if you come close to the camera this is the program for today so it's three rounds max rep per uh, so one minute of sumo deadlift high pulls, three minute row calories, three minute clean and jerk, three minute assault bike. Three rounds of that is gonna be bomb. Just in case no one knows, what are you training for? I'm training for the world championships. I've got five weeks to go until High Rocks Worlds. Um, I wanna be trying to get as close to my PB as I can at Worlds, which is a 102. So anything between a 102 and a 105 and I'll be, I'll be chuffed. So yeah, the work still goes on. Everyone's arriving tomorrow, so I'm just getting as much done as I can now. Ollie's gonna take me out on an hour and a bit run after, so yeah, let's go! Cause my thoughts keep running down a winding road that leads to you. 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 I'll do the things you think of, but I'm missing you. 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 Cause my thoughts keep running down a winding road that leads to you, 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 you. <laughs> 
That was the session. Little snack and then we have a game of darts. No, that session was good. Was holding about two, uh, so we were using 25 kilo for the high, sumo high pulls and the clean and jerk. Um, I was holding, I was getting about 25, 30 calories done on the assault bike every three minutes. Just kind of, you don't want to be going all out and burning out for the barbell round. So there's no rest for like, what is it? Is it six? No, it's four, eight. So it's eight, 16. So it's 24 minutes. So the idea is not to blow out or blow your load <laughs> on the assault bike. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was holding about 205 per 500 on the road for three minutes. That pace allowed me to kind of like consistently go back into the barbell work unbroken without taking too much of a rest. So yeah, it was epic. Let's have a game of darts. Oh. Oh. Ha! Oh, okay. Shit. Double or nothing? I can't reach it. Yeah, double or nothing. Come on then. Okay. <laughs> Can I just have one more go? Oh no, sorry, that's 20. No. Let me just try something, because I actually think I could be a professional dartist. Dartist? <laughs> I've got, I know what to do. What? I guarantee you, right? Look, I guarantee I will get these two in the black again. Okay. She's a professional I've got dog. The artist. Artist. A dog, like an artist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but almost. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, let me get this one one more time. Can you tell I'm an only child. <laughs> oh. Well, right. close. Um. Oh, that's ow, ow, I just got cramp in my arm. Oh. Um, that's black. There's leg. Oh! oh! We don't win a chicken dinner. Double oh. or nothing. Only Come burpees. Dinner, I can't it? remember what I actually had to do. 15 so burpees. So yours is 20, of, ow, ow. One more go. This is static. Yeah, I know. One more go. Oh, okay. Are you loser. Me off? Loser does 50 burpees. Okay. What's the loser? As in, well. if anyone gets white or red. Yeah, you have to get it in the black, both. Ready? Well, if we both get it in the black, then we have to keep going until loser. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh! Your toes are over the line, Belle. Oh, so that one was Hang on, let me do it again. That one, that one counts. That one doesn't. We've still got work to do, by the way. Yeah, I know. Strict press and Iman. This is what happens when me and Hello. Bella train at home. We, we do half the workout Hello, and then and we start to round. find a game Ollie, and then I we don't get shit done. Single round, yet you're ignoring me. Right, now I've got all four. I'm going to go black, white, black, white, black, white. You're perfect. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Who's doing 50 burpees? Come on. Uh, Jane, ready? <laughs> You've lost. Jane! Oh. <laughs> okay, now see where I get them, just throwing them <laughs> randomly. I missed the first two as well. Right, what now? So we've got to do strict press inside and wall balls and then we're done. So back to the camera. We have a 10 minute EMOM of wall balls, but it's got to be nine kilo. So heavier than pro women weight. Working heavier only allows race day to feel easier, but it doesn't. So 10 minute EMOM on the wall balls. And then we've got some strict press before that to pre-fatigue the shoulders. And then training is done. It's a nice, easy. So I've got an easy run to do, 70 minutes, but we're gonna wait till the sun goes down a bit. So, yep, yeah, let's go. So 150 wall balls is so 15 every minute on the minute for 10 minutes. Three kilo heavier than race weight. There it is. Stepping in. I will just say something as well. The targets at Mike's gym are at least 11, 12 foot high. So I'm guessing, just make an educated guess that the red bar's about nine foot, which is where I need to be hitting. Whew, round three.
Okay, so roll reversal. I've just finished my wobbles. It is Mr. <laughs> Jenkins' <laughs> turn. Come on, Ollie. Let's go, Ollie. I'm too close. <laughs> Come on, strong. Stick into my ass. <laughs> Oh, oh, my hands hurt. That's disgusting. <laughs> my hands hurt. <laughs> last little bit. So leaving the strength till last. I want to do this in the most compromised state I can, just with the stimulus I'm trying to demand off my body. Normally you'd do strength first, um, but with this I have pre-fatigued a lot of my uh, upper body with 150 wobbles. So I'm now going to move into two strict press at 90%, and then eight reps of a standing one arm pull. So it's going to be a strict overhead. And then I'm gonna do eight per side on a high, what they call a high pit pull. Don't know what, don't know what we call it in the UK if I'm honest, but standing upright row I would call it. But so we're gonna get two done of these. This isn't 90% of my one rep max, but I'm gonna start a little bit lighter because I've got five sets to progress across. So because we're doing two reps. <laughs> They're surprisingly deceiving. Does does it help looking in the mirror? Yes. When you lift weights? Only when you're lifting weights. Not when you're rowing. That's like that's not good. Assault bike and rowing, no chance. No. But yeah, weight training in the mirror. All day long. So all done. Um, everything's done, strip press is done. That was quite hard going, um, especially flying in this morning. We've done about nine hours of traveling with being delayed and stuff. So I'm really proud of myself getting that shit done. Um, yeah, so all finished. We're now off for a run. Me and Oles are gonna go down, run down towards the beach, do a little 70 minute easy run. Um, Ollie was literally just asking me now, like what are the three main things that have kind of allowed me this year to probably break into more elite times than sort of like competitive times and really kind of like navigate that 30% extra. I would say it comes down really to three things. One is working with a structured coach. So working with a coach with um, a history and uh, you know a, a whole library of incredible results. Not only, I don't just look for a coach who is doing well themselves. Like that to me isn't the important bit. Like I wanna see what results they've got with their clients. So that was kind of the thing that I started with at the beginning of this season was bringing some of my own different methodology that's been trial and tested over the last few years as a coach um, in my own athletic performance um, and also working with a coach alongside that as well which has been incredible it's taken the pressure off it's held me accountable and even coaches need coaches like 80 percent of people i work with are coaches themselves and i think that it's the single single-handedly the the, the the best thing you can do to take your level your performance to the next level i would say that it's a compound effect of working on inner work so understanding attachment and values to outcomes if that makes sense so not being driven by um, you know results but also not having an identity attached to the result as well so that when that result doesn't happen you spiral you lose motivation and you keep in this cycle of like trying to over strive um, so I'm now really kind of surrendering to a process of being an athlete isn't always about winning um, you know you've got to take the rough with the smooth you've got to learn you've got to adjust you've got to adapt and you've also got to overcome when things don't go your way as well so I would say that a lot of inner work I've been doing um, a lot of inner work um, regarding like I've been going through like a therapy journey as well um, but yeah all of that kind of compound work I've done on my inner has been really powerful too and it's allowed everything to align properly um, and then number three has probably been my nutrition but my nutrition is a knock-on effect of the respect I'm showing myself and wanting to nurture myself um, on that level enjoy cooking falling in love with the process of learning more about food and how it works for my body so it's taken a long time like I wouldn't say that it's happened overnight and I'm still in the process of all of those things so you know it's a work in progress and we're here crushing it every day and now about to take four 40 athletes uh, sorry 30 athletes for a four day athlete training camp and teach them all of this stuff that I know uh, to take them to the next level so let's go talking of nutrition let's what? let's run and get some food here yeah? <laughs> burgers no, <just> kidding. <laughs> how we doing not bad going it's about eight uh, we didn't end up doing 13k was it yeah eight miles yeah so we took it really easy down to the beach and then we literally followed the boardwalk which I've never done before and literally I feel like we just kept getting FOMO and we were saying we'll stop and turn around at the next corner and then we we're like let's just have a look around the next one but it's beautiful down there we managed to catch a little bit of the sunset 
Um, and then we thought it was about time at 50 minutes to turn around and come back. So we've done about, was it, an hour and 10? 70 minutes? Yeah, hour and 10. Um, so we're just going to go get a little bit of beef, a bit of steak, a bit of protein. And then it is bedtime, early night. Um, got a big session tomorrow as well. So trying to cram all this training in before these guys arrive. Bella's already hungry, look, she's waiting. <laughs> Belle? <laughs> She just wants her food. <laughs> so, me and Ollie have just worked out that I've probably done about 2,500 calories training this afternoon, and I've definitely not got half of that back in. So, we come to Dak Burger. So, you're going to look at this absolute mess, but I ordered the burger with some roast beef and some bacon, some guacamole, some pickles, and some sweet potato fries. And then I've landed Ollie an extra brioche bun and Bella an extra brioche bun. Just because I don't need it. I don't do very well with wheat, gluten and stuff like that, so it's all good though. You come on the Ultimate Athlete Hybrid Training Camp, you also get lovely cuddles at night. That's a wrap to day one. That doll. You look as battered as she does. I am. We haven't even started yet. <laughs>